I like that. Veggies first. Put them at the front of the line. Okay. Yay, veggies. Uh, the Elk Grove United Rugby Club is expanding its program. Yes, and now there is something for the ladies. Oh, I like that. Lori Wallace is live to tell us about that. Hi, Lori. Is that why you guys picked me for this? Because yes. I seemed like a good candidate? Yes. <laughs> so you have the of wrong outfit that's on. One. I, I don't know. If you take a look at these ladies, you're going to see real quick that I don't fit in because I'm not nearly as good and athletic as these girls are. Scott's <laughs> here to talk about the program. Great to have you. This program's been around nine years. It's just getting bigger. And these ladies here are really showing up for us today. Uh, they absolutely are. So uh, we've been here nine years in the Elk Grove um, City, and we are a nonprofit youth sports, sports organization serving Elk Grove City and the surrounding communities that don't have rugby yet. Um, we started nine years ago with about 20 boys playing high school rugby, and now uh, last year we had 140 athletes out here on six different teams. Wow. Uh, this year we're up to seven different teams, and we've got two new uh, girls teams that you see right here in front cool. of you uh, with a brand new coach um, who's all the way from New Zealand, which we're wow. really excited about. Wow. Yeah, so you'll notice the age range here with the girls. Let's call over coach here. Let's walk over here, Scott, and get her over here. She came all the way from New Zealand. The least we can do is talk to her real quick about these yeah. ladies that she's coaching. Um, because they look fantastic out here. They are tough. They're athletic. You're new to Elk Grove. I am. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here with the rugby program. Um, well, really, I'm just trying to grow the girls program because um, a lot of girls, you know, they see that it's full on contact, it's rough and tumble, and they, they, get, they get a bit scared of it. So, um, no, we just want to show that it's an awesome sport for girls and boys to play. And you're showing all levels here. We have some girls here as young as middle school and then up from all there. So school. talk about kind of that age range and how it works for, for all ages. Well, so we have a middle school uh, program as well as the high school program. So they play different leagues. So, yeah, you, you're put into the right level, you know, that your body can handle pretty much. So you're not being forced into, you know, full contact against 200-pound, like, boy, boys or girls. So you're put into the right um, level for you guys. And we teach proper technique from the young age so that it becomes a habit all the way up to high school and then to college and then to if you want to go professional play for USA and all of that. So. Well welcome to Elk Grove and I love the accent. Uh, Scott real quick you can t still sign up all age levels boys girls whatever it may be. Rugby is an absolute emerging sport which means that you can come at any time. I mean we've had players come literally a month before the season ends just to sign up because they want to try out something new. We're always here. Um, season starts this weekend for the youth. High school doesn't start for about another month. Um, so we are always here. We also have another summer seven season that starts. So I would encourage anyone that wants to get involved with rugby, please come on out and sign up. ElkgroveRugby.com. It's really easy to find us here on the south side. There's also many other programs here in town if you, if you don't live on the side of town. All right. Thanks so much, Scott. What a fun program. And whether you're a girl watching, wait, me? Holcomb. I thought we were friends. No, no. Girls and boys and not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> But it's Elk Grove. It's your I like to watch. It's your I'm more of a spectator. More of a spectator. Sport. Spectating. All right. So funny. Okay. Thanks, Lori. I guess. We'll be right back. We've got question of the day coming.